Mimi? I really I liked your dance with the popper bops. Right. Thanks, Bada. Do you think it's possible for the popper bops to live with us at the lab? No, I don't think so. The popper bops live in the desert because they shouldn't have any water. Let's see if we can find some other animals that live in different wet and dry habitats. Great! Look here! Here are some fish, sharks, and whales. These animals live in water. So that means they can't live outside of water. That's right, Mimi. Look, that's a picture of an iguana. Do you know where iguanas live? Do they live in water, like fish? No, they actually live in the desert. Desert iguanas don't drink a lot of water because of their dry habitat. Just like the popper bops. Exactly. Do you see how it is lying on the rock? The desert is the perfect habitat for the iguana because it is dry and warm. Mimi, do you remember how the popper bops are born? They are born in water. Just like frogs. <laughs> frogs are born in water as eggs. Then they hatch into tadpoles. Can tadpoles leave the water? Not yet. Once they become frogs, they can leave the water. Just like this one. <laughs> so frogs can live both in and out of the water. Mm-hmm. Frogs are very special animals. Super! We better go help Mimi. <gasps> <gasps> That's all for today. We'll see you next time.